اي ام يونس محمود يوتشن فوتبول اسيا One continent, 14 time zones, countless goals. Stand by for Asian Cup Football Asia. Japan, two-time defending champions. Saudi Arabia fell one short of rewriting the Asian Cup record book. Australia, the debutants and pre-tournament favourites who failed to kick into gear. Vietnam, the co-hosts who created history. And Iraq, the dark horses who captured the imagination of the purist and overcame the odds for their first ever continental silverware. These, in essence, sums up the highs of the 2007 Asian Cup Finals. And this week on Football Asia, we take a look back at the most exhilarating tournament ever on the continent. This year's tournament was co-hosted by four Southeast Asian countries. Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam and Indonesia. And each of them had a story to tell. We start with Thailand, where Asia's biggest footballing extravaganza kicked off. Thailand played host to Group A, which included the Iraqis, Oman and debutants Australia. Iraq only managed to draw against Thailand on match day one. But they bounced right back on match day two against an out-of-sync Socceroos. Just floats it into the zone, and Salah Steer has got the final touch. It may be credited to Nashad Akram, but what is for sure is that Iraq are in front after 21 minutes. Hawa Mullah Mohamed in space, could be 2 1, it's 2 1. Hawa Mullah Mohamed for Iraq, and Australia fall behind again. Great finish. Mehdi Karim, or oh, it should be tapped in by Karaj Yassin. It is tapped in. It's 3 1 Iraq, and it's three points for Iraq. A magnificent display from Jorvan Vieira's charges as they swept aside Australia to put themselves in pole position for a spot in the last eight. Australia's loss to the Iraqis meant they needed maximum points against the Thais on match day three to qualify for the quarterfinals. That's another chance here. Michael Beach is here! Australia do have the opening goal! And the week from hell turns to cheers in Bangkok. Michael Beecher with his first international goal. Cahill's ball in. Baduka chests it down. Wilkshire arriving. Baduka turns. Beautifully done by Mark Baduka. He scores for Australia! That could be the goal that takes them through to the last eight. The captain! That looks shell shot down to the ties. After conceding that second goal. Drilled in. Baduka's there, it's 3-0, it's 2 for Baduka, and surely now Australia are headed for the knockout phase. They could be in for a fourth here, Australia. Harry Kuhl slides it home, wonderfully done, it's four for Australia. Australia found their form in the nick of time as they pipped Thailand for second spot and a ticket into the quarterfinals. Iraq secured top spot after they played to a goalless draw against Oman. The story of Group B centered on the ruthlessness of Japan and the giant slaying acts of co-host Vietnam. The UAE were expected to send the Vietnamese packing when the two countries met at the Median Stadium on match day one. What transpired confounded the critics. The 
Vietnamese then held Qatar to a one-all draw on match day two. That set up an enticing encounter against the mighty Japanese on the last day of the group stage. The three-time champions were slow to move into gear as the Qataris held them to a draw in their opening match. That result served as a wake-up call to the Japanese. They promptly turned on the style against the UAE. Another quick corner taking, Shinsuke Nakamura puts it in, and Japan have the lead. And they let it run, Takahara, make it two, he is on fire. Top corner, if you don't mind, Majid Nasser committed early, he was off his line. And Shutsuke Nakamura with his first goal. Then the real Japanese finally showed up in Hanoi, to the dismay of the sold-out Medin Stadium. The win meant Japan were through to the last eight. While Vietnam also secured a place in the quarter-finals thanks to the UAE shock 2-1 win over Qatar in Ho Chi Minh. It was a tale of redemption and surprise in Group D. Saudi Arabia were out to bury the ghost of 2004 when they were eliminated at the group stage. While hosts Indonesia were adamant that they weren't the whipping boys of the group. The co-host did just that against Bahrain on match day one. Outside, they look to be off, it could be the enemy, and it's Indonesia lead! Bahrain come away with it. It needs to be pulled back. It's still loose and put away! Boy. That was sort of Sano, just needs a touch. There is that touch. They line up the shot! Oh! Up the post! Rebound! Goal! Goal for Indonesia! A great start to the tournament for the Indonesians. But that would prove to be the only highlight of their campaign as they lost to Saudi Arabia on match day two. And also fell at the hands, or rather feet, of Kim Jong Woo when they took on Korea Republic on the last day of the group phase. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia finally erased their nightmare from three years ago as they sent Bahrain packing in style. Ahmed Al Musa broke the deadlock on 18 minutes. Then Abdul Rahman Al Qatani added the Saudis' second deep into first half injury time. Taisir Al Jassam made it 3 0 in the 69th minute. Before securing his brace and the Knights' fourth 10 minutes from time. A resounding win in the end for the Saudis. As expected, Saudi Arabia and the Koreans justified their favourites tag to progress to the last eight from Group D. Finally in Group C, Uzbekistan defied the odds to secure a spot in the next round alongside three-time winners Iran. The current West Asian champions started their campaign with a win over Uzbekistan. Matavikia with the delivery. Header, goal, what a piece. Jamal Hosseini for Iran. It's all tied up. Taimorian is square. Kazemian is through. Runs into space. Kazemian! Great goal, Iran. 2 1. before playing to a two-all draw against China. It's a wonder strike by Ferry Dusandi, 2-1. Iran are level thanks to Jawad Nekuda. 
Iran promptly secured their quarter-final tickets when they eased past co-host Malaysia on the last day. Nekunan top corner. Terrific finish and Iran finally had the lead. Ideal came across but couldn't maintain possession. Here's Taimorian. And they finally have a second goal, Iran. It's the man from Bolton. Meanwhile, Uzbekistan needed a win over China on the last day to confirm their place in the last eight. And they waited until the 71st minute before turning on the style. So Iran and Uzbekistan passed their first hurdle. And this then was how the quarter-finals stacked up for the 2007 AFC Asian Cup Finals. Four enticing clashes were on offer with Japan and Australia, the match of the knockout stage. Still to come, Iran and Korea Republic locked horns for the fourth straight time in the finals. And Vietnam aimed for another giant slaying feat against Iraq at the Rajamangala Stadium. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia played host to the quarter-final clash between Iran and Korea Republic. Both nations dominated the tournament in the early years with the Koreans winners in 1956 and 1960, while Iran went on a hat-trick of titles from 1968. They also shared a unique rivalry. The teams crossed swords in the past three editions of the tournament, all at the quarter-final stage. As expected, both sides started tentatively. Kim Sang-sik lined up the shot, deflection on the way through Robarian. Finds Katibi, nice turn from him too, it breaks from Ardavikia. In 90 minutes of play, the scoreline remained blank. Ali Karimi rolling it into the path of Nekadur. Challenge again, but it falls for Mardavikia. Good claim again, Lee Wun Jae. No surprise, it was still nil-nil after 30 minutes of extra time, so it went to penalties. With the score at 2-1 to the Koreans, Captain Mehdi Madavikia stepped up to level matters. But the veteran failed to convert. Then Kim Do Hyon did Iran a favour. He too choked from the spot. Reza Eniyati then stepped forward to make it 2 all. Cho Jae Jin then made it 3-2. Now Rasul Khatibi had to score, but he couldn't. Kim Jung Woo was tasked with Korea's fifth kick. And made no mistake from 12 yards out to put his side through to the last four. So disappointment for the 2007 WAF champions as they bowed out of the competition. Joy for Korea Republic as they ease the painful memories of losing to their opponents in 2004. Iraq had been improving as the tournament wore on and they showed their pedigree when they took on surprise package Vietnam at the Rajamangala Stadium in Bangkok. Within two minutes of the kickoff, the golf outfit showed their intent. Captain Yunus Mahmud with the header to put his side one up. Then on 65 minutes, it was game, set and match Iraq. Mahmoud again led the way with his second of the match. 